Hey, what's up guys? So I wanna to talk to you briefly about the three phases of NoFap and what you can expect on your journey. Now, when I say what you can expect, I don't mean the benefits like, oh, I'm, I put on 20 pounds of muscle, I get attention from girls. I'm not talking about those expectations. I'm talking about what you can expect from day one of your journey to the end of it, the process, the freeing yourself from this addiction. What you need to understand when you embark on this NoFap journey is that you need to instill the marathon mentality the marathon mentality that this is going to take a long time. You gotta understand that my life right now is at zero and getting to 100 is going to take hard work. The number one question that I get on my YouTube about NoFap is how long is this gonna take? Of course you're gonna relapse over and over and over because you're in this mentality of I want the short term fix. I wanna get this done as soon as possible. That is coming from someone who's focused only on NoFap and not focused on the whole spectrum of NoFap that's keeping them trapped in the addiction, their daily habits, their daily rituals, their behaviors, the mental pattern. So a person going in with anything less than a marathon mentality is going to be the one who's gonna relapse over and over and who's not going to kick this habit. So that leads me to phase one time. Now, a lot of you probably don't know this, but from the time I ever first started NoFap, like zero, like day zero, until the time I made my first ever YouTube video where I had gone 30 days, 34 days NoFap, it took me one and a half to two years of trying NoFap. That is a long time. That is a time filled with relapses, with starting and stopping over and over again, with giving up, with being hard on myself, that took a lot of time for me to reach 30 days. Now, I'm not saying that it's gonna be that way for you because nowadays there's more resources, more people speaking about it openly, and that kind of helps motivate you to go forward, whereas I didn't have that back when I first started. So at this point, if you're just starting your NoFap journey, be prepared for this to take some time. I get a lot of comments from people saying that, oh, it's been a year and I'm still stuck in this journey. I say, keep going, man. It's been a year, then keep going. That's no good excuse to give up it's going to take time. And depending on where you are in your journey, what you're doing with your time as you're on this NoFap journey, there's so many other variables that kind of go into this, but phase one is all about time. Be prepared for this to take some time. So stage number two is when the neuro association, the emotional intensity, the emotional connection that you have to pornography starts to weaken. Now, this is why it takes so long for NoFap. This is why it took me a year and a half at first to finally get to 30 days, is because there is a process taking place in the brain that when you abstain, when you, when you further distance yourself from the bad habit, the brain starts weakening its associations that it has to the habit. You can't rush this. This is not something that can be done overnight. Rewiring the brain takes time, and this is why a lot of people struggle in the first month, two months, three months, a year, is because this is a process that's actually taking place in the brain. So you get to this place to where you can do 30, 60, 90, 100, 365 days, no fap. And you're like, cool, I'm good. Like, yo, I beat this addiction. Yes and no. <laughs> okay, so the good part of this is that you have reached a point to where you can now consciously invest your time, your energy, and dedicate that to, to bettering yourself mentally, physically, spiritually, you reach this point in life where you feel that you are in control of your life and you are. It's not a feeling, but it's a fact. The downside to this stage, the downside to phase two, you reach this point to where you're like, you know what, I'm so in control of my life that I can control my habit of looking at pornography. I can look at it safely once a week. I've been there. I've talked about this in one of my videos. I've seen a couple of YouTubers semi-recently talk about how I'm going to relapse intentionally just to see how it is. I don't like that because it's not the truth. The truth is that you miss it and you're reasoning with yourself as to why you can start relapsing. That's the other downside to going such a long time without looking at pornography is you start feeling like this perfectionist who can't mess up. And so then you start reasoning with yourself like, you know what, I'm not really messing up, I'm just testing the waters, when in actuality, you're messing up. It's fine, it's okay, you're human. You're not gonna be as affected by pornography as you once were when you first ever started. That's the good side of it. It's a lot easier at that point in time to bounce back and get back on the horse, not a problem. But it's a trap that you want to avoid nonetheless. I'm not encouraging you to start fapping to pornography because you feel like you can do it, I'm saying you don't wanna fall into that trap to where you start thinking you can do it and then you find yourself redeveloping an old habit. And so then that leads you to phase three. <laughs> what to do with my life now that I'm free? That's the beauty of it. 
When you get free from this whole addiction, you have a blank canvas in front of you every single day. You can paint whatever life you want to live for yourself and you can actually do it without feeling the negative side effects that pornography has over your life. When you are addicted to pornography, there are so many things that you can't even feel that are holding you back in life. And now that you don't have those things holding you back, it's like, wow, I'm fresh every day. I'm, a, I'm renewed every day. I have the ability to create whatever I want to create now. So I see a lot of people relapse because they feel that they've reached this pinnacle in life where they've gone all this time without looking at pornography, but there's one thing that they fail to do, which is find new things to do with their time, to do with their life. When you have all this time on your hands and you're not doing anything with it, it creates a boredom and boredom then produces relapse. You're not gonna relapse if you're living life to its fullest every day. If you're going to the gym all the time, if you're you know meditating all the time, if you're reading all the time, when your mind is actively busy, there is no room for relapse. But when you sit there stagnant, not doing anything, there's no activity, no momentum in your life, you're welcoming another relapse. So I'll do no fat videos occasionally when I feel that there's something useful to say and when I feel that there's something that's not been oversaturated, talked about too much, um, and I don't, I don't think I've heard anyone talk about, you know, no fap in this way. So anyways, thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Peace.